Hey guys, today I want to talk about the sternocleidomastoid muscle, especially the clavicular head of this muscle, and of course how to strengthen it. Uh, it is a muscle who is uh, notorious <laughs> for uh, being painful, causing headaches and so on. Uh, we already know this, uh, what is perhaps more unknown is that we should strengthen it, we should not massage it or stretch it, it makes you worse, okay, that is my opinion and my experience. Uh, however, Perhaps even more controversial but less known is that the vagus nerve, which is a unique parasympathic nerve, passes between the anterior scalene and the clavicular portion of the SEM. And what I have seen actually, and it is quite interesting, uh, is that if there is severe dysfunction of these muscles, it can cause irritation of the vagus nerve and of course then various degrees of dysautonomia. Now, now you may understand why this is controversial, because mostly, if you are talking about dysautonomia, it, it will be talking about really severe cases. However, these are more subtle, much more subtle dysautonomic symptoms, such as uh, dryness of the throat, feeling a lump in the throat. You can get tinnitus because it, because it controls this eustachian tube. It also um, contributes to the tympanic plexus within the ear. Um, many patients can feel uh, itching in the ear because of this um, and get chronic hiccups. You know, some, some pretty strange stuff actually. And my experience is that irritation of the vagus nerve is one of several potential causes of this. So today I'm going to teach you how to strengthen the clavicular portion of this muscle. Okay, so the clavicular portion of the SAM spans between the mastoid process of the skull and down onto the proximal portion of the clavicle. Uh, and how do we strengthen it? Well, we have to pull its origin towards the insertion, right? Now, this can be a little tricky because there are many muscles in the neck region that have similar tasks. Uh, for example, the, uh, the, the ipsilateral trapezius, the upper trapezius. So, uh, let me show you how to do it. So, you will first flex the head to approximately 45 degrees. Okay, you will flex the head somewhat forward. Now, you will rotate it ipsilaterally to the same side, again, approximately 45 degrees. Now, I want to be uh, somewhat vertical in my thorax. I do not want to lean very much back or forward. I'm quite vertical. And now, forward, rotate, and then I will uh, translate my head towards the ceiling slightly anteriorly. So there's a slight oblique angle there. Now you can palpate the clavicular portion of the SEM while you're doing this motion to ensure that you are in fact stimulating the muscle and that it is contracting throughout the whole motion. If it is not, try to reset the alignment as I told you and try again. Okay, forward, rotate and now moving upwards. And on the first rep there, I was moving too much with my forehead. It's not correct. I should move, I should guide, if you will, with my mastoid process, okay? There. And I can feel it contracting well there. Now I want to do the movement very slowly. If I'm jerking up with my head, I will get all of the muscles in the region. So I do not want to do that. It's a slow and controlled motion, feeling the muscle contracting, making sure that it does while palpating the clavicular portion. I say I'm guiding with my mastoid process, but I guess a more accurate description is that I'm guiding with my lateral eyebrow. Okay guys, so there you have it. This is how I strengthen the clavicular portion of the sternocleidomastoid, the SEM muscle. I recommend that you go very slowly. I recommend that you start carefully so that you do not get very unwanted symptoms because believe me, this can occur. Even from uh, just a slight stimulus, of course, if you're working with whiplash patients, for example, or someone who have severe neck dysfunction, start very carefully. That is my suggestion to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will answer you. And I will wish you all a nice day.